Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Well, you're nicely hollowed, aren't you? Are you tormented by memories? Burdened by guilt? Now the question, are you ready for more? If you are, then we ought. I believe he wants us to kill four people. Also, I believe he's wearing the Chaos Hood and the Chaos Armor and stuff. If you get it from him by fully completing the quest and then talking to him, it increases your casting speed. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. And it's it's pretty awesome. This... This contains my power. Long ago, this... naive vessel of mine set about devising new spells. The fool dreamt of bringing new forms of magic into the world. But instead, he created me. Mostly by chance, but he did a fine job, I must say. What he sought was strength, and so I decided to demonstrate. While my vessel slept, I'd find my mark and hunt him down. But my vessel did not approve. And so while I slept, he sealed the both of us away. He hunts you down if you release him. He's dumb like that. No, I don't have anything against humans. But how is it that you go about defining good and evil? I'm only using what the gods gave me. How can that be so wrong? So what say you to a spot of murder on my behalf? If you don't, I'll leave this place and take more lives. Many more. I couldn't give a fig either way, sir. What's your choice? I mean, we could just kill him. <laughs> I like that it defaults it to no. Like, we're not gonna murder them. Yes, I see how very kind of you. I want you to kill a merchant named Gilligan. A greedy, foul man. He won't be missed, I assure you. Yes, bring me a ladder miniature as proof. Is the only person who'd have such an odd knickknack. <laughs> yep, and he will. You can actually buy it from him. Uh, there's three other people. I'm going to get all of the items together at once so that we can just come back and do this in one swoop instead of having, like, a return quest on this. And I'm going to use a Homeward Bone here because I want the enemies to respawn. Because I thought about it in between episodes and I don't want to leave something undone here, so I'm going to try and get them to break that big wall open, even though it's probably going to kill me and cause a whole kind of other kind of problems because I pulled that stupid lever. So now this whole hallway is just full of... It doesn't respawn. Well, there are a lot of things that I don't remember. One, two, three, four. I want this thing to die shortly after it breaks this wall open. Shortly. Why is there less of them here now? Please come here. Please come here. Please break this wall. Did you see that? He was like through the wall. Oh my god. Maybe it's like whenever players get petrified, these statues are here or something? Because there was three last time. That'd be interesting. I'm really glad that only the basilisks respawn. One, two, three, four. See, I know I'm risking failure here by shooting them and poisoning them. But I don't want to have to fight these things because they one-shot me. So it's my goal to have it come over here and attack this wall. No. You're not invited. Go away. Just do it! And now you perish. Nope. Preemptive roll just in case. I didn't think he was going to get me, but you never know with these things. In case anybody actually didn't know how to open these. I assume everybody knows how to do most everything, but... Malform shell. 
which is this. I never used it. It's weird. I mean, I guess it has a, a nice-ish move set, but it's like the bones of those malformed creatures from before. And I'm more of a bow person, or an ultra greatsword person. There is one last thing in our way. And it is quite the distance from us. Which gives us ample time. How do you fit through that doorway, you cheater? You didn't even you didn't even shimmy sideways. Shimmy sideways next time. I'll forgive you this time. But next time. No forgiveness. Now, if we could, this time I would like to be like wait, there was one thing I forgot. This door. And I'm gonna shoot you in the head, and then I'm gonna shoot you in the head, and then I'm gonna shoot you in the head, and you're gonna die. Lots of dead giants. They were performing experiments on them or something. That leads down there into the room with the two dog things I killed and all the corrosive stuff. It eats your rings and your armor, but not your weapons. I thought there was an item in here. Either way, you guys have seen it now. This area is pretty 100%ed. We didn't get the exploding lizard, but the exploding lizard only gives you one soul anyway. So now we pop down here and we use our... Prepare powder, just in case, because I don't want this breaking during the fight. I'm gonna come in here, and I, I... I said... Why did you cancel? I'm gonna come over here. And I'm gonna shoot you four times really quick just to poison you. And I would really appreciate it if you just kind of died. See, this is why you get right under him, because then he does the fire breath and he's like, oh, am I even hitting you? I guess I'm not. And see how much easier it is to dodge? I mean, I didn't dodge that, actually, but you see how much easier it would be to dodge if I dodged it properly? Is that even English? Oh no, the dragon's getting me. I'm gonna die. I say as it actually has killed me before. You shouldn't be able to keep changing directions like that, Bob. That's foul play. And how does the fire keep coming even after? Like, get there and already stopped. You're poisoned, I don't care. Aiming! I think you're poisoned and going to die. Oh, if only I could have killed him in the air. Oh well. See, if I wasn't stupid last time, and I was like, oh my god, the boulder's coming, I'll run the direction the boulder's rolling instead of just moving to the side, we would have gotten that just fine. But instead, I had to look like some kind of weird green sausage. And you come out here and you step on this, and then you turn around and you're like, there's an item and this is a really long elevator. And then the next time you come here, you're like, oh look, it's a dragon scale. I'm never going to use that. But look at how pretty everything is. Praise the sun. Visions of the sun. I don't know how going up here actually gets us to the dragon area. That's another one of the things where it's like, this is a cool area, but... Uh, how is it that you don't see this area from anywhere else in Dark Souls? Or in the Dark Souls 2 areas? Like, the geography for the world map is a little iffy. It's like you can see images of stuff in the background, but if you actually went there, it's different. Like, from Majula, you can see Hades Tower of Flame, but if you actually go there, it, it doesn't look the same. Because you see an image of the place instead of actually the place. Like, you would in Dark Souls 1. It's Archinet, but I mean... Everything still looks nice, so I don't really care. Ian Scholar, the first sin, you actually have to do this area backwards. Which also means you skip this area. They let you skip the entire area. If you want to come back here and you want to get the benefits of all of the petrified dragon bones and everything else, you have to use, um... Brigand branches of yarn stuff? Oh, I don't have any. And unlock the way through here and come back through. What was I checking for? Seven dra petrified dragon bones. We can fully upgrade the dragon rider bow if we need it. I'm kind of thinking about just using the black bow of Ferris, though. 
We got a chunk, not really useful. Four more and we'll upgrade the Sibo and never have a use for chunks again. Bearer of the curse. Long have I awaited one such as you. One who might shatter the shackles of fate. One who can set me free. Bearer of the curse. It was my own manifestation that led you here. The ancient dragon has watched over the world for eons past. Take this. Aged feather. Do not resist. The dragon welcomes you. That was another thing that I really liked about Scholar of the First Sin. I feel like if Scholar of the First Sin released as the original Dark Souls 2, the game would have been much better received. And I'm not talking about with the DLC as well. The DLC could have released later, but if these placements and the considerations that they did on the patrols and everything went through, I think people would have liked it more. Because the dragon actually welcomes you now. And you get to skip this whole area so the dragons aren't hostile to you. You beat the guardian dragon? Well, the guardian dragon was the guardian that was dragoning this area. Dragoning. So we rest here, and I think we have to go up. Because this ladder's already down. If you remember before, you had to go all the way around and knock this down. Well, if you run that way, then there's, like, a petrified guy in the way. Right there. Petrified guy in the way. And you can't go any further. But if you just come right here, if you drop down there, there's, like, a soul of a great hero or something. It's, like, 20,000 souls. I'm not going to die for 20,000 souls. That's a chump change. We have 258,000 souls. I'm not even interested. And you can go back through the zone that way and fight. Th there's three dragons here. And there's crystal lizards all over the place. I would like to get through here as soon as possible. This actually does have a timer. If you remember from, like, the, the trailers of the DLC, or, like, not the, tr the, the original le release of the game, you saw people dying on this bridge because the dragons broke it. The mechanic behind this is there's actually a timer on how long you have to get to the other side before the dragons break it. And that timer is just like a default number, I don't remember what it was. For every egg you break in the area, the amount of time you have to cross this bridge is reduced. So if you break absolutely every one, you have to like absolutely sprint across, otherwise they kill you. I have never actually died on this bridge before, but that's what I was told how, I, I was told that's how it worked. Dragon Bros. Yeah, I was like, how do you even fit in here? And then he's like, I'm a mini Aldia. It's kind of adorable. I think we're supposed to say yes to this. I am Olia. I saw to shed the yoke of fate, but fail. Now, I only wait an answer. Seek the throne. Seek light, dark, and what lies beyond. All I'm saying is that that size and with no arms, there's nothing to stop me from mugging him. And I'm wearing a fire resistance ring. But yeah, that is Aldia. Vendrick's brother. And the owner of the science keep we just went through. Yeah. The guardian dragon was actually one of very many. And we run up here and you'll notice... You see those 
guys, and you're just like, oh god, they're gonna get me, but no, it's just these guys that are gonna get you. See, a lot of people remember a lot of what they did with Dark's the, the remake for Scholar of the First Sin was to play with what people already knew about this game, because they expected if you're gonna buy this game, you've probably already played the original. Which is why you got a big discount. If you own the original game, it was only 20 bucks to get this one. I say only, but you already bought the game, basically. I owned all of the DLC as well. You missed. But these big guardian butt guys, they just get in your way. And there's some neat treasure around here, and we might as well run around and pick it up. Bonfire ascetic, always wonderful. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of souls. These guys welcome you here. They don't attack you. Scholar of the First Sin, the dragon people welcome you. It's just the big construct people, whatever, humanoid guys that aren't actually associated with them that attack you. This used to be where you got the Staff of Wisdom, but they put it earlier in the game because it kind of screwed over sorcery people by putting the best staff in the game this far into the game. Because once we get the Guardian Dragon... Not the Guardian Dragon, the, uh, the memory from the dragon up here. See, the, even the mask and, like, the judgment set was here. Usually the Staff of Wisdom was with it. We go up there, we talk to the Ancient Dragon. Talk. And then we go and kill the Giant Lord. And then we can fight the final boss. Like, this is basically the end of the game. We're going to do the DLC. Should we end? Should we end with Nishandra and stuff? Maybe we will. Maybe we'll just get this, farm the crap out of the Giant Lord for a little bit, and then, uh... Then we'll do other stuff. We'll do the DLCs. Because whenever you, like, the reward that you get for, uh... Completing the DLCs is basically worthless if you've already done the rest of the game. On account of... Once you go to New Game Plus, you lose it. So, we're gonna make our way through here, and these people will welcome us. I heard some of my friends actually attack them still when they came back here. It's like, nah. How you doing? You are friend. We are welcome. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.